All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are in the last days that's why so many things are happening right and lord willing it's going to be edifying something to uplift the brothers and sisters we already have spiritual power in the form of spiritual gifts right we already had that we already have that spiritual power we have it now this is what the enemy don't want you to realize he doesn't want you to have potential he doesn't want you to see your potential he doesn't want you to realize these things because if you did wake up and you did know who you are and what and who your power is then you would know what power you possess then you would cleave more no, nigh to your shy right so we're going to start off in john baba kasha baba kasha come on now okay go to john baba kasha they, they ain't going to stop this word <laughs> So you say Satan's got power, right? But it's his technology. You understand? It's his technology. That's his power, right? And carnality. Okay. And the devil is um is he intelligent? Yeah, to a certain extent. But the devil's very what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? The devil's very um impulsive when he does things. Yeah, he's intelligent. But he's very, very impulsive, very impulsive, right? Very predictable. <laughs> okay, go to John. One. This is John one, and we're going to jump straight to verse eleven. He came unto his own. This is who's he speaking of? Speaking of Yahweh Shai, right? And his own received him not so you're going to be amongst your own people right and it says his own received him not right a prophet is not without honor in his own country right so amongst your acquaintances and amongst those you grew up amongst we're not really going to take to the word because they see you as no this is the same individual we were kicking ball with <laughs> this is the same individual we were going to the youth club with this is the same individual kind of saying in your family hold on no we raised him we were bathing him so that's how they see you right and that's why he said he a prophet is not without honor in his own country back on john 1 and 11 he came unto his own and his own received him not right so it's going to happen in this truth it's going to be more so your own people that don't really receive the message okay but as many, verse 12, but as many received him, to them he gave power. What is received? To receive. You're receiving something. What are you receiving? Faith. The understanding of Yahweh Shai. They were, they were given that. Okay. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of the Most High. See, it's those that receive Yahweh Shai. They're the ones that have been given that power. Okay. They're the ones that have been given that power okay right, it's a beautiful thing so do you have power right now yes you do yes we do and you have to believe in this there's levels to faith we have that power right now okay it's just going to be amplified right on a larger scale and that's why Esau's trying to shut this word down because he doesn't he doesn't want it getting out but it's already getting out there's nothing much you can do this word is getting out right gave him the power to become the sons of the most high so we have that power and we are the sons of the most high but it says gave them power to become the sons of the most high all of israel are the sons of the most high but within the sons of the most high you have the sons of the most high you have an elect that actually believe okay and it says baba kasha 
even to them that believe on his name. Because that's where the true, they're the true sons of God. They elect the first fruits. Which were born, not of blood, nor by the will of flesh, nor by the will of man, but of the most high. Alright? And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us, which is Yahweh Shai. He's the word, he's the, li the living word, was made flesh. So when Yahweh Shai was up on the earth, he was the <laughs> he was a he was a walking oracle, he was the word. Right? And he beheld his glory. The glory is the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. The only begotten. Full of grace, full of mercy. Right? John bear witness of him. And cry saying, This is he of who I spake, he that cometh after me is preferred before me. Because what? John the Baptist was six months before what Yahweh Shai on the scene. And he was teaching Yahweh Shai, he wasn't teaching himself. Right? For he is before me, and of his fullness have all we received for grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses. Right? And this is the figment of the Pharisees, they were more so caught up on the law. Right? And it's not that Yahweh didn't come to do away with the law, he came to establish it. So when Yahweh was on the scene, what did he do? Yeah, he established the law. He established it, right? Because he is the what? He is the law. He is the word, right? So the law was fulfilled in Yahweh Shai, okay? For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth, grace and truth, came by Yahweh Shai Mashiach, both of those things. Grace, so when you break the law, right? You would have grace, you would have Yahweh Shai, and what? Faith, truth. Because Yahweh Shai is the truth, right? It's amazing how many people neglect Yahweh Shai, right? And we don't, the, the law is not, the law is not completely done away with, right? I'm sure you still keep a beard on your face, right? Huh? Well, you're supposed to. I'm sure you don't eat pork. Love thy brother, love thy neighbor as thyself. The law is still intact. It's just that Yahweh Shai has fulfilled a better law. That's the difference. He's fulfilled a better law now. We can actually what be obedient to him and his will. Okay, so now we went to that Baba Kasha, but we've been given, he's given us, excuse me just a minute. Yeah, he's given us that spiritual power, baby. And we have it. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Oh, we're waiting. No, we're waiting in the form of that spiritual power being increased. But at the end of the day, there's levels to um there's levels to faith. Right? We definitely have it. Right? Just being able to discern, you could discern what people. Hey, right, we're gonna get into it, Baba Kasha. Excuse me, just a minute. Now let's go to Matthew's ten. Um, bro, you gotta get excited about this because this is all we got. This world is, this world is crumbling. There's nothing here, man. There's nothing here for us, right? And I don't want to get infected, right? That's why, <laughs> and that's why it's come good to come to the wilderness. You don't want to get infected by these people. Right, because they're under a strong delusion, right, and they want to keep you in that delusion. So it's good to get out, get some air. I was about to say fresh air, but the air ain't fresh. Let's go to Matthew's camp. And when he had called unto him, this is Yahweh Shai, his 12 disciples. Disciples, what? Short for the word disciple is discipline. So they were being raised up in the way of faith. When you read the gospel, they're being taught. Yahweh Shai was getting on them, teaching them what? Faith. Okay faith not so much the law faith the fa it was the pharisees that were doing that the, this or that law right yahabashah was teaching these men faith right walking on water turning water into wine right when he approached nathaniel do you believe because of the very works sake that's still like a philip do you believe for the very works sake or do you believe because i told you talk i told you so paraphrasing this is what Yahweh Shai was doing. Higher levels. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power. Come on now. He gave them power. Right? Against unclean spirits. 
All right, excuse me just a minute, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. There's something in Luke that I want to get as well. Excuse me just a minute, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. All right, we got that. All right? Yes, he gave them power over all against all unclean spirits. So what's unclean spirits? Foul spirits, right? And these foul spirits come in different forms. All right, smoking, yeah, it's a foul spirit. Um, eating pork, foul spirit. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, there's so many, it, um, witchcraft, foul spirit. Divination, foul spirit. So the disciples, they were given that power through Yahavashai, and that was through their belief first, right? Over all these foul spirits. So you're, you're telling me today, these same men are back ever again today, you're telling me they don't have that power. No, you have it. Stop letting people fool you. What do you think the, the, the name and shaming game's about? It's to keep you in the low state. Because Esau wants our people to think of themselves as nothing. No, bro, you have that power. Have you noticed when you're around these witches and warlocks, they start to freeze up? But hold on, hold on. These witches and warlocks, you're supposed to trust, you trust in what Satan or whatever, right? Whatever they do, you're supposed to, you, you trust in that, right? You really trust in that. So how comes when I'm amongst you, you start panicking and because you have the, the, even the deep descriptions, the demons fear and tremble in James 2. Even the demons believe and tremble, fear and tremble. <laughs> so they know who you are, they know your spirit. Because you may ask, are witches, are they spiritual? Yeah, they are. They deal with spiritual matters. The only thing is that they're doing it on the left hand side. They're not coming through the right channel. They're not channeling it through your house. They're channeling it on the left hand side. But even witches, yeah, and some they're spiritual. They know they can see a spiritual man. They know they know a man that's 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 anointed. Right? So there's brothers and, and cer certain a very few remnant of sisters that have this power. Come on now. To cast them out, so he was given power to cast out these spirits, right, in faith, and heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. So, you have something within this society where Esau, he has his doctors, he has his pharmaceutical companies. Listen, if you're doing these things, do you really think the powers that be are going to like that, bro? If if you're walking around. And your presence alone in the words that you're teaching is healing people guess what that's going to do that's going to mess up business that's going to mess up the business the pharmaceutical companies so esau can't have that happening okay esau can't have that happening because it's messing up business it's not good for business so i don't for, don't think what you're doing is in vain it's not in vain there's certain people that listen to your videos guess what just by listening, they are being healed. Just by listening, they are being healed. And you have to believe in that. There's power. You never know who's watching your video. Right? You may be some you may have someone that's in a very distressed spirit, and as soon as he hears your video, that distress it gets removed. You have to believe, you have to have faith. Right? And all manner of sicknesses. And all manner of diseases. So through their power, through their faith in Yahweh, they were able to cast out diseases. And what's a disease? Hmm? A disease is when your body is. It says it. This is when your body's at a dis ease, right? And that's due to a lack of particular things you may be putting in your body, or things that you could be putting in your body. So when your body's at dis ease, your body ain't working right. In other words, it's a chemical imbalance. All diseases are due to a chemical imbalance and really if you really want to go deep into it all diseases all sicknesses that you have are demons right so when you see someone sick it's a demon you see someone with a hunchback that's a demon you see someone blind right you see someone um what's it what's that sign language right they're deaf that's a demon someone dumb that's a demon someone blind that's a demon Someone got a backache, that's a demon. Someone got leg ache, that's a demon. Okay, but Esau char characterizes everything. And that's another lesson I wanted to do. Esau puts everything in boxes. Every single thing he puts in boxes. Uh, categorizes, this is that, this is that. 
you know? This is what he does. Because by him categorizing things, guess what he can do? Make profit off it. Just by him categorizing things, he's able to make profit. Okay. So we went to that Baba Kasha. Now the names of the 12 apostles, right? And the reason why it said apostles, because now they were sent out, right? They were sent out. Excuse me, just a minute. Are oh, these the first Simon, who is called Peter, okay, and Andrew, his brother, okay, Baba Kasha, James, the son of Zebedee, okay, James, hold on, just like Peter and Andrew, his brother, okay, James, the son of Zebedee, right, they were known as the sons of thunder, James, right. James and I forgot who, 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 who was it? James and John? Yeah, James and John were known as the sons of thunder. Remember when they saw someone, other, dis, other disciples, other believers of Yahweh Shai casting out demons, they said, let's let some um, paraphrase and let some um, rain thunder down upon them. And they went to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai had to rebuke them. He said, no, he, he, that is, um, he that is teaching in my name, paraphrase, he could not speak evil of me. He could not speak evil of him. If you're really, really in Yahabashai, right? Let them be. So Yahabashai even had to get on Peter and John because they were in that spirit. And a lot of men are in that spirit. Oh, he's, he's not with our camp. He's not with our camp. Bro, that's why you got to be in the right spirit, right? Or they want to do their own thing. So what? So what? Is he still in the spirit of Yahabashai? That's the main thing that matters. Okay. And if a man's casting out demons in the name of Yahweh Shai and he's doing it sincerely, then the spirit's working with him. Okay. Baba Kasha. And who else? James, the son of Zebedee, John, his brother, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, Republican. So he even had tech. He was a, Matthew was a publican. What's a publican? Tax collector. All right. He had all different types in the truth. Okay. James, the son of Alphaeus, Lebius, whose surname was, what's it? Um, Fadolfi, I can't say it right. Ta, Deus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. All right, he was a devil. Okay, and it says D12, Yahweh sent four. Okay, and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles. Okay, and not in into a selected and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who we're out here for. We're out here for the lost key thing, the lost sheep of Israel. Okay, the lost sheep, because our people they're lost. They 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 don't know who they are. Hosea five and six. My people are destroyed for a lack. Of knowledge they're calling themselves everything our people still think they're african you had your average person they think they're african the average negro yeah we're from africa or they say i'm from ghana i'm from cameroon right these are name of countries that's not who you are that's not your nationality i'm new Arbian. what the hell is what the hell is a new Arbian? i'm nubian nubian queen they got all these different titles Right, and as you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and it is at hand. Right, heal the sick that's what we're sent to do, cleanse the lepers. And one may say, All right, an individual may say, Well, I live with him, I ain't being healed, he ain't healing me because I don't know. Yahweh doesn't want you healed because you have people that want to be smart asses as well, okay. Well, uh, he ain't healing me. I don't get well because Yahushua doesn't want you healed. Right? The only ones that are going to get healed are those that really have faith in Yahushua. They're the ones that were healed. Right? Those that have faith in Yahushua. Heal the sick. Cleanse. Key thing. Cleanse the lepers. Right? Raise the dead. Oh, my. See, even the dead were being raised up. Even the dead were being raised up. And that's twofold, right? And it says, 
raise the dead. So we're raising our people from a dead state they are in, right? And when you're raised up from that dead state, you, you have a lively look about you. You look different, right? Cast out devils, right? And we cast out them devils, right? You may have demons that are trying to infiltrate your household or your family, where you, you send up a prayer, all right? Cast out devils, all right? Freely you have received, you freely give. So as much as we receive, we gotta give out. Don't let brothers um, try to say, make you think that you're doing too much. You know your limit because you know yourself, right? I mean, so you're doing the most. The scripture says, freely you have received, you freely give. This was given to you freely by Yahweh Shai. Right? Don't let men tell you off. Just, just be temperate. Be temperate. Temperate doesn't mean being lukewarm. Temperate is not going five days, four days without doing anything. That's not temperate. Right? That is not temperate. That's called being lukewarm. Right? You continue being on fire for Yahweh Shai. Why? Because you know it's the right thing to do. Right? So we went to that Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And now we're gonna go to Luke 4. Beautiful and 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, the Holy Spirit, because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the broken heart, and that's what Yahweh was sent to do. Heal. Right? The broken hearted. A lot of our people, they're broken heart. They're downtrodden. They're broken people. Our people are a broken people. Broken. Right? That's why they need this word. Right? Heal the broken hearted. Preach deliverance to the captive. And we're covering the sight to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. And to preach the acceptable year of the Lord Jehovah Shai. Key thing, acceptable. Right? And he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down in all the eyes of them that were in the synagogue. Key thing, in the synagogue, because that's where Yahweh was teaching, right? Were fastened on him. So the eyes, every eye was fixated on Yahweh Shai. They were mesmerized at what Yahweh Shai was teaching. So even in this truth, you're going to have a lot of eyes on you. Everybody's going to want to know what you're doing, how you do it. Right? That's why they got a lot of brothers as well under surveillance. It's not just one brother, there's a lot of brothers. Right? They got you under surveillance, they're watching you in your homes. This is hey bro, that's freakish. That's weird. That's weird. Right? You got you got freaks, you got weirdos, you got neighbors that do that. Right? And they raise up their children to be freaks as well. Weirdos. Right? And to imitate you. It's just weird, it's just weird behavior. Right? But that's what happens when you have an anointing on you. Everybody wants to know what you're about, what you're doing, what you're about. How do you get that gift, right? In other words, they want to clone you, but you can't clone <laughs> you can't clone the elect, right? And it says, and verse 21, and he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears, and all bear him witness, and wondered at the gracious words, right? Which proceeded out of his mouth. So they were wondering, <laughs> they were wondering at the gracious so if, a, if a word is gracious, it's doing you good, it's healing. Your something's gracious. It's good to your soul. Which proceedeth out of his mouth. Okay? And they said, it's not, is this not Joseph's son? Okay? They were surprised. Hold on, no, no, we know, we know Joseph. This is his son. Yehabashah. And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proper physician, heal thyself. Right? Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. Right? But I tell you of the truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias. This is Yahweh speaking. Right? When the heaven was shut up three years, Elias is Elijah. And six months, which Elias commanded to do that as well. When great famine was throughout all the land. For unto none of them was any ascent. They were wanting a sign, they were wanting Yahushua to show who he was. And you got people like that trying to tempt you. But do you do a miracle? You know? No, to see, this is the thing. A prophet is not without honor in his own what country. Right? And we're gonna get to that, excuse me, just a minute. Physician, heal thyself whatsoever you have done in 
Capernaum, do you also hear in thy country? Okay, do it here. Right, we want to see it. Do it here. The same miracles you're doing. Do it right here. Right? And he said, Verily, I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. You see how it is? Right? In other words, where you grew up. Because some people might say, well, how come he ain't prophesying where he grew up? What's the point? Why? Why? What's the point? Hmm? What's sent out to those that actually believe? Right, those that have ears, ears to hear, eyes to see. But I tell you of the truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, which they haven't shut up three years and six months, when great famines throughout all the land. But none of them was Elias sent, and there was many people, right, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. I remember Elijah healed what her son, right? This was Elijah when he what lent, lent over the son and prayed cried out unto the Lord Jehovah Shai and he was healed he was brought back to life and many lepers were in Israel in that time of Elisus the prophet right and none of them was plan saving Naman the Syrian and all day in the synagogue when they heard these things were filled with wrath right they felt a particular way okay and rose up and thrust them out of the city we speak about Yahabashai. Right? You see, they were filled with wrath. Right? And they thrust him out. You see, you see what the prophets, you see what even Yahabashai had to go through. Right? And led him unto the brow of the hill where the city was built. They tried to throw him off the hill. And that they might cast him down headlong. You see what the Messiah, this way you have to read the scriptures. Right? Your people getting offended. Yahushua was cutting them because they were not coming in what sincerity. And if you don't come in sincerity, you're going to get cut. But he passing through the midst of them went his way. He was able to what with that spiritual power dodge, right, and get out of there. And he came down to Cap Capernaum, the city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. For they were astonished at his doctrine. They were surprised, right, at Yahushua his doctrine. It wasn't like the doctrine of the Pharisees and the elders. It was of the Heavenly Father. For his word was with power. There was a particular way Yahabashah was teaching. There was much power. Right? In the words. There was power in these words that were being taught. Right? With much power. Oh, God. Here's one of the agents now. Hey, just read it. With much power. And verse 33. And in the synagogue, there was a man which had key thing which had a spirit of an unclean devil and he cried out with a loud voice so this man he had spirits upon him but it says he cried out right this man cried out so in other words this man he had spirits upon him right and he cried out with a loud voice why because this individual he knew you have a shy right this spirit knew you have a shy saying let us alone what have we to do with thee? Right? Though Yahweh Shai of Nazareth. So that spirit was, it was afraid. It says, let us alone. So not all, some people, not all, some, you're going to be amongst. Right? And they're not going to like it. They're going to want you to get away because they feel, they feel condemned. Remember, if you have Yahweh Shai's spirit within you, this is all spiritual. This is all spiritual. Okay? It's all spiritual. Alright? And cried with a loud voice. Fat is screaming. <laughs> right? Screaming. Okay? Saying, let us alone. Key thing. Let us alone. What have we to do with thee? In other words, leave us alone. So them people that are embedded with demons them demons don't want to get cast out remember this is spiritual people's vessels they they get used so the demons that are in people they don't want to get out and you have people they've made covenants with idols and demons so it's like an entrapment and there's people they, they want to do the right thing but they're um captive to the devil i don't come to destroy um saying let us alone what have we to do with the old 
Yahweh of Nazareth. So these same spirits are in people. These same spirits are in people. That's why it's scriptures, tell, scriptures tell you in Revelation 12 and 12, the devil cometh down because he knows if he has a short time. A short time. So what them, them demons are, what, trembling? Because they want to have a field day. They want, they want to party in these vessels. Are they come to destroy us? All right? So they were faring. All right? I know thee. I know thee who thou art and the Holy One of Power. So they know. So even them left hand spirits, they know Yahweh Shai. They know Yahweh Shai. Right? Okay. So there's certain people out here, they may say certain things, and you may say, well, how do they know that? You know, put, put it past technology. No, it's the demons, because the demons know who you are. It's, it's simple as that. Right? The demons know who you are. Okay? And it says, and Yahweh shall rebuke him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. So that took authority for Yahweh shall to do that. In other words, hold your peace. Keep your mouth closed. Right? And this shows you what? Spirits. This shows you spirits speak through people. You're thinking, hold on, why did he say that? Why did this individual just say that? Because it's a demon working through them. Alright? Hold that peace and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, so the devil was throwing him about, he was convulsing. Right? That sounds like, what is it, what is it, what they call it, epilepsy? He was having an epileptic fit. And that's what Esau calls it. He came out of him and hurt him not. And they were all amazed among themselves, as they spake among themselves. Saying, what a word is this? For with authority and power, a key thing, authority, key thing, with authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirits and they come out. So he commanded it with great, great power. And that same power, remember, he gave it to his disciples. Right, so don't think yo, you're just holding this Bible and you ain't hearing or nothing's getting done. Right? You ever turn up to a store? You turn up to a store, people start acting funny, start running. No, we're, 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 we're closing now because the demons, it's like they would try that little fair tactic, but really they're scared. So they try to get you out quickly, right? Or they'll run. You know, one of the two. <laughs> okay? It's all spiritual. And among them so saying, what a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits and they come out with great authority and great power. Right? Right? Here we, here, here we go. One agent just there. Right? Spire me out. Right? Another agent from the Matrix. It, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. You know? It is what it is. Right, that's the remember, they're, they're, that's it. I'm their assignment, right? I'm their assignment. What, what a life to what a life to live, what a, what a miserable life, right? But you're over them, they're not over you, right? They don't have no charge over you, you have charge over them. They want to convince you that they have they don't, they don't have no charge over you, you're over them, right? And they hate that. Verse 37, right. And power he commanded the unclean spirits that come out and the fame of him went out into every place of the country right round about right every place and he arose out of the synagogue so his fame his fame is everywhere so you have a he was recognized not that we're seeking for fame but you're gonna get fame anyway right so he had popularity everybody knew about Yahweh Shai. And every place a country round about. So everybody was talking of him. And he arose out of the synagogue. And he entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother. Simon's wife's mother was taken with great fever. And he besought him for her. And he stood over her. And rebuked the fever. And it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto what? Rem. So even a fever. What was that? A spirit. Right, so he's re rebuking what that spirit of that fever. Now, when the sun was setting, 
all that had sick with this diverse diseases brought them unto him so all these people were getting brought unto who Yahweh Shai and he laid his hands on every one of them and he healed them right and the devils also came out of many crying out so they were crying this was like a crying this was like a well right and saying thou art Mashiach the son of the most high and he rebuked them suffering suffered them not to speak for they knew that it was Mashiach they knew right and when it was day key thing he departed and went to a desert place okay and the people sought him and came unto him and stayed him that he should not depart from them so you had you had those that wanted Yahweh Shai to stay to remain and he said unto them I must preach the kingdom of the Mosai to other cities right also right for therefore I am sent okay and he preached in the synagogues of Galilee so you had those not all not all those wanted Yahweh Shai to flee we also had those that wanted Yahweh Shai to remain remain in those cities because what he was the comfort he was the words right so it's the same it's not all bad you gotta remember it's a balance not everybody not everybody is against you not everyone we're gonna have those that accept you and those that take to your spirit right okay and some of them would what be of the elect okay so we went to that oh we have power we have that power right it's just the demons don't want you to believe in it remember the devil he's a trickster right excuse me just a minute Let's see if we can fight corinthians Let's see if we can find it right okay this is corinthians 12, 12 chapter right this is corinthians 12 chapter and let's jump straight to verse 4 now there are diversities of gifts right but the same spirit so we have diverse gifts different ones have diverse qualities right now there are diversities of gifts right but the same spirit so diversity is many different gifts but you're going to have the same spirit the same spirit is of Yahweh Shai right? whether you're in a camp or not okay and it says but the same spirit and there are differences of administrations but the same law so different brothers got different administrations within this truth as well but it is the same Lord Yahweh Shai always got to keep that in mind and there are diversities key thing diversities okay of operations okay key thing, diversities of operations and how different brothers operate within this ministry not everybody's a teacher all right not everybody's a teacher we've got different different lots but it are diversities of operations but it's, it is the same power which worketh all in all verse 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all so it's given unto you to profit within this ministry so you can first you can be profitable to your shy and therefore you're profitable to yourself right for one is given the spirit of the word of wisdom see so how brothers wisdom is practical right you have those that are very practical right with what they're teaching right that's what wisdom is wisdom is practical right so you got brothers that they know what they're doing right they're very 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 practical right i've got to see i've got the agents coming out now <laughs> you got the agents coming out you know looking 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 for me <laughs> I mean, these people are ridiculous man very <laughs> Uh, maybe just a minute and it says there are differences of administration but the same lord that i diversities of operation but it's the same power which worketh all in all but a manifestation of spirit is given to every man to profit with all for one is given the spirit 
spirit, the word of wisdom, right? To another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. And you have brothers that are somewhat knowledgeable on certain matters, but wisdom is knowledge which is what applied. To another, faith by the same spirit. You have brothers with high levels of faith so they can teach you faith. To another, gifts of healing by the same spirit. You have brothers that can, um, just by their presence, they can heal you. Or they can heal you because they're good with medicine. To another, the work of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, descending of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. For all these work with that one self, same spirit dividing, right? To every man severally as he will, right? According to your lot, for as the body is one, have many members. All the members have one body. Being many are one body, so also is much yet. For by one spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews, right? Gentiles, whether bond or free, and having all made to be drink into one spirit. For body is not one member, but many. There's many members within this body, right? So with this lesson, I'll shut off here. Lord willing, Lord willing, this was edifying. Lord willing, this was, yeah, Lord willing, this was edifying. And we have that spiritual power right now. It's just about tapping into it. And you can only tap into that by the faith of your Shah. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.